Hey, what's up, tubers? This is the SHTF Hunter. Springs are coming in. It's just beautiful outside. Storm. <laughs> I mean, we had a fairly harsh winter. And compared to last year, it was real harsh. I'm getting eat up by now. It's out here. Probably not going to do any shooting in this video. Actually, I know I'm not, but uh, I hadn't made a video in a while. I just thought I'd talk to you about some things I come up with and what I'm going to do this summer and use. And, uh, so, uh, you know, with the ammo shortage and all, I was kind of, I'm kind of reluctant to use a lot of my 6.5 ammo for uh, deer hunting on that one farm. Uh, I got a lot of 30 6 ammo. I kicked around the idea to use my Remington 780L. And, uh, but one thing I've been finding that's still a decent price is a uh, eight millimeter Mauser. I've been finding this on this TPU, 196 grain soft point. I've been finding them at gun stores for like 20, $21, or something around in there, which, is, which isn't terrible. And now I'll probably pick up every box I can when I find it. But uh, so, you know, I got that kill permit, and I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to use all my 6.5 Creed more ammo, just in case. You never know when the SACF will happen. Uh, for anybody don't know, us preppers is still out here. We still call it the shit hit the fan. <laughs> uh, so I had this old eight, this is my K98 eight millimeter Mauser. I had it sitting in the corner. Didn't have scope on it didn't have nothing on it it's been a while since i used it and i thought what use is a gun sitting in a corner and uh, so i'm kicking around the idea about possibly using this at long range this summer uh, for my kill permit as you may know uh, on that farm my longest shots on that farm can go out to 500 yards so uh so i've done some things to it you know i have parts sitting around like a lot of us hobbyist gun owners we got a lot of parts sitting there <laughs> and uh, i found this mount now this this is an ati ati stock for the mauser and it looks like they tried to make it like a arctic warfare sniper rifle stock or whatever i've had it the stock a while um when i originally put my mauser in i had a pistol scope up here i made like a poor man scout rifle so I had a pistol scope mounted up here, and but it, this is a this in this configuration, it's a pretty heavy rifle. I'm not sure the weight. <laughs> it's a little on the heavy side. Uh, I, I really like the K90, the eight millimeter cartridge. It's a when a lot of people think of 200 grain bullets, they think a lot of recoil. But the eight millimeter Mauser is really manageable. I really like it. Um, so what have I done? What have I put on it recently? Well, this ain't recent, but I'm gonna talk about the trigger. This is a uh, Timney, Timney K98 Sportsman trigger. And I'd say the pull is probably three and a three three and a half pound. It's it's fairly it's a decent trigger. I mean it's 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 good. I like I, it's a really good trigger. I'm a big fan of Timney triggers and about anything they produce, anything Timney trigger I bought, I've really pretty much liked. Um, I ain't gonna go on a tangent about the one and a half pound Calvin Elite trigger, but it's the, it's pretty, it's super light. But anyway, so yeah, I've had Timney Sportsman trigger a while. Great. Um, I put this on there yesterday. Now this one does not uh, traverse left or right. I guess, or we, uh, anyway, it don't, this one don't move. I mean, I actually, because this stock is completely flat, I put some screws through it. I considered putting a Picatinny rail on the bottom, but the way the inside of the stock is designed, I couldn't put a, couldn't put a, a Weaver mount or a Picatinny mount in the center. So I decided to, uh, screw it it's screwed on the sling stud well the the original mounting point the sling stud and then i put two screws through the stock and got screws and nuts on it and back here i got the 
this vortex crossfire four to twelve i had this on my 65 grindle and i decided i wanted to put it on this gun i took it off the grindle recently i gotta do some more work on my grindle mostly the scope mounts and probably the bucket anyway that's neither here nor there i'm not exactly sure where this mount came from this uh the rail the pick rail they put on this ati stock is not mill spec so you you, you have to you pretty much have to use a ring but uh since it is plastic i was able to take a dremel i mounted it in one slot i took a dremel and made another slot up here i think it's mounted back here and then i think i dremeled out a slot on the front to put it down but uh this is a i don't know where i can't remember where i got this mount the scope mount but it's a good solid it's a pretty solid piece of aluminum uh so anyway this i just zeroed in 100 yards i got shooting about three inches high probably two and a half three inches uh eight millimeter mauser you're probably gonna have more drop than the six five uh creed more so uh i just thought i'd show you this to some of my newer subscribers i mean when i first started youtube this is one of my first projects when i first started youtube this gun and uh you won't find those videos i've taken down some of my videos from the past but uh anyway i just wanted to bring this show this to some of my newer subscribers the old eight millimeter Mauser still kicking honey in <laughs> and taking names. So, uh, yep, this is SHTF Hunter. Um, what are you doing? What are you saving? Uh, are you, uh, what are you doing to save money on ammo? Or are you saving certain ammo? Or <laughs> I'm out.